What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak on iOS 6.1.3. Now this is only going to work for the iPhone 4, 3GS and iPod Touch 4th generation. Now this is going to be a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means that if your device dies or you reboot it, then you will have to reboot your device with Red Snow in order to regain full functionality. It'll still have limited functionality if you don't reboot with Red Snow, but it will cause you to not have access to everything on your device until you do. Now if you have a device that's on 6.1.2 or lower, then just click on the annotation right here or click in the link in the description below to watch how to jailbreak completely untethered. Now to get started, I'll show you that this iPhone 4 is on 6.1.3 just by going to settings, go to general, go to about and you can see right there that it's 6.1.3 and just so you know I won't be editing out any of the wait times in this video for the jailbreaking process that way you have something to refer to and you should know exactly how long each step in the process should take now in order to do this jailbreak you will need to download the latest version of Red Snow and your 6.0 IPSW for your device now make sure you're downloading 6.0 IPSW and not 6.1.3 there will be links to both of these in the description below. Now, once you've downloaded your 6.0 IPSW for your device and the latest version of Red Snow, make sure that your device is plugged into the computer and open up Red Snow. So you'll see here down at the bottom, it recognized my iPhone on 6.1.3. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on Extras. And then once you click on Extras, you're going to select the IPSW. Now all you want to do is point it to the 6.0 IPSW that you downloaded for your device. Once you click open, it will say that it is successfully identified and all you have to do is click OK. Now we're going to go back to the first screen and we're going to click jailbreak. So now that it's done preparing the jailbreak, you'll just want to make sure that install Cydia is ticked. So once that's ticked, just click next. So this screen here is actually preparing you to go into DFU mode. Now instead of following that, you can if you want, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and go into DFU mode right now. It'll automatically detect it once I am in DFU mode and continue through the jailbreaking process. So in order to go into DFU mode, all you have to do is hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. Once you hold that for 10 seconds, you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding it 10 to 15 seconds until Red Snow recognizes that you're actually in DFU mode. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let go of the power button, continue holding it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you can see here that it recognized that I was in DFU mode, so it's going to continue through the process. So now it's downloading the jailbreak data. And be sure not to press any buttons or anything like that. While it's going through the jailbreaking process, you'll notice on my screen that it says that it is done. But you can tell by looking at my device that it's not completely done. So make sure that you leave your device plugged in and you don't press any of the buttons to interfere with the jailbreaking process. Now it's going to start moving the applications, but this is going to take a little while, this loading screen. So go ahead and give it some time.
This entire process should take around 20 minutes or less, probably less, but definitely give it ample time to do exactly what it needs to do before you actually give up on it and try to restart. Now your device is booted up, all you need to do is quit Red Snow. So we're going to quit Red Snow and we're going to open it right back up and that is because we want it to refresh and update completely. Now make sure that you do this step because this can screw up your entire process. So once you've opened it up, go ahead and go back to Extras. We're going to select the IPSW again and we're going to point it to the 6.0 IPSW one more time. So go ahead and open that. You're going to get the pop-up once again. Click OK. And then you're going to click on Just Boot. And this is crucial to the process, so definitely do not skip this step. So we're going to click Just Boot. And this is going to tell you to go back into DFU mode, so we know how to do that. We're just going to hold the Power button and the Home button for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then continue holding it until it goes into DFU mode when Red Snow recognizes it. And there it goes, exploiting with Lime Rain, and we're going to just boot this. So this will take a little while, but make sure that you give it enough time before you give up on it. So as you can see on the screen that it states that it is done, but there's obviously still some stuff going on on our device. So we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing and we're not going to be touching any buttons and we're going to leave the device plugged into the PC. All right, so now you're booted up. So what we're going to do next is we're going to slide to unlock this. And you're going to see that Cydia is right there. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up Cydia. We're going to we're going to choose user. So choose user and then we're going to click done. Once this is done loading up Cydia, we're going to go ahead and go into manage. We're going to add a source. So 
So right now we're actually going to go ahead and ignore this, but make sure that you do upgrade this. And I'm just doing that so we can get through this uh, tutorial. So now we're going to hit edit. We're going to click add. And then we're going to add this repo. The big boss dot org slash semi tether. And then we're just going to click add source. It's going to verify it and then it's going to update the source. Now this will take a little while, but just give it some time. We're going to click return to Cydia. We're going to click on this and click on semi tether. We're going to install that. And after it restarts the springboard, you will be semi-tethered on iOS 6.1.3. So just to show you guys, Go into general about and you can see that I'm on 6.1.3 right there and if we go into Cydia here and you can see down there at the bottom that I'm on the iPhone 4 6.1.3 Cydia so I'm jailbroken on 6.1.3 Alright guys, and just to show you, I just rebooted my device without Red Snow. As you can see, it's not plugged in, and so I didn't use the just boot process that I just showed you. So that means that I'm going to have limited functionality. It does boot, as you can tell, but if I click on, let's just say Safari, you'll see that it's not going to work and it's going to crash. Also, the same with Cydia. So if you click on Cydia, you're not going to be able to use any of the tweaks or anything that you downloaded through Cydia. So always make sure you reboot your device through Red Snow with the process. I just told you which is just open up red snow click on extras click on select IPSW point it to the 6.0 IPSW that you downloaded and then click just boot and then you should be good to go you'll have full functionality of your device so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.